Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace, reporting live here at the Weeksville Heritage Center here in Brooklyn, New York. Singer-songwriter Cody Chestnut broke on the scene in 2004 with the legendary headphone masterpiece. The beautiful thing about that recording was, one, it didn't have the PR and the major machines to produce or promote the recording, and two, he recorded it on a four track in his bedroom. Well, after five years being off the scene, Cody is back with a new recording, and this is his first time performing in New York in four years. Brother, what was that outside? Hmm. Uh, it was life. It was um, a spiritual experience I think we've kind of put aside uh, in our pursuit of our material gain. And um, I, I only pray that we can build on that. What was it out? What was it for you outside? What did you experience? The Cody Chestnut Soul Review. Hmm. Yeah. No, that 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 no. That's really what I'm praying for. That soul music can do what it used to, you know. Because um, we all grew up on it, man. It, the soul is missing, you know. The real soul that we grew up on, that hip hop originally started, you know. It, it's building blocks on, you know. It, it's missing now. It's something. It's like white noise right now, you know. And. Um, it's doing nothing for the spirit, doing nothing for the soul, and um, just trying to just open up our our spirit so we can uh, make a contribution to the to the revival of it. You've come a long way since the headphone masterpiece. I mean, you were in a room confined to a four track and it came out this double CD masterpiece. And now I'm hearing at first when the band started playing and that's what goes back to the, 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 the review, I was thinking, you know, Sam Cooke, 
Al Green was getting ready to come out and bless the stage. But you came out and did some very stirring soul out there. And this is a drastic night and day from what you started off in 2004 and 2010. Okay. Um, it's just growth. I think it's the um, natural evolution if you're really trying to grow as a human being and your artist, artistry should reflect that. And so it's just been a, uh, a journey for me just to grow as a man so that when I did speak again with my art, it would truly reflect where I am now at 41 years old. Is this the direction that you're going to continue to go with the big 11 piece band? Is this the soul that you, is this the music that you really want to put out now? Indeed. This is what I've been hearing in my head for a while. Because as I said, once again, that kind of feeling is what you, you know, you cut your teeth on as a kid. You know, at least I did. And I know how that made me feel as a child and how it still makes me feel as an adult. So I, I want to share that with a new generation and with my peers and my contemporaries to um, just, just celebrate once again, you know, what music is supposed to be, how it's supposed to feel and what it can do. This is the first time you played New York City in four years. That's a long time. Were you scared? Were you nervous? Were you because this is the first time New Yorkers are seeing you play the new material? Right. Um, not afraid, but as with any new experience, you know, you, you're thinking about um, the acceptance of it, how people will receive, because uh, they're they're so attached to a certain um, body of work or a certain idea. You know, but um, overall, I was really looking forward to experiencing it and, and sharing it. You know, I really believe people are ready uh, to embrace something that speaks to where they are right now as an adult, you know, and more mature content. So um, I wasn't really nervous, but just wondering how people would receive it. One of the things I noticed about tonight's performance is that you being a dedicated family man and, and a devoted husband has matured you in a lot of ways and that song that you talked about or you sang about marriage mm -hmm. I mean it's a reflection of where you are right now as a man especially as a strong black man in America right now mm -hmm. um, I can't speak enough about what having children has done for me man um, and, and a beautiful supportive wife you know uh, it is the best thing that, that, that really has ever happened to me aside from, you know, discovering God again, uh, is it helped me in so many ways, cleared my mind, uh, made me more focused in terms of what the role should be as an artist and, and um, my responsibility, you know, not just as a, as a family man, but just as an artist as well, what I should be feeding other people, uh, their minds with and what, what I should be putting out, what kind of energy I should be putting out. You know, I try to put the best energy um, out for my children, and everyone else deserves that as well. You know, I don't want to um, uh, jump back and forth. You know, I want to be as consist consistent as possible uh, with what I have to say. And so my, my children um, clean my heart, they clean my mind, and this music is reflecting that, so I want to share it with other families. Like today I saw people with their children out, and I felt completely at ease being able to share my music with everybody as opposed to it being really blue, you know, material and you no know, put the, you know, tell the kids to go away, you know, they can't listen. But to see everybody enjoying it, you know, that's the mission and that's that's the mark and um I felt really inspired by it. We put it on That 
to do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the Weeksville Heritage Center here in Brooklyn, New York. I'd like to personally thank Cody Chestnut for his time and his hospitality, as well as the staff here at the Weeksville Heritage Center. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column, as well as my past television and radio segments. As always, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Until next time, peace. Love is the foundation, the purpose to recycle life. This is how living high really begins.